morning. Our children's message this morning is called Promises. Have you ever made a promise to another person? You have? One time I made a promise to a friend to go to a birthday party. My friend knew I would be there because I had promised. Have you ever broken a promise? Hmm. Never. <laughs> Probably. Hmm. It is not good to break promises. Why not? Why, Sean? It can make you have enemies. What, Michael? It could make your friend upset. It could hurt their feelings. We've got we've talked quite about quite a bit about Jesus' resurrection. Y'all remember that at first the apostles didn't believe Mary Magdalene and the other Mary when she said that Jesus was alive. Remember when they first went and they said, Jesus is alive, Jesus is alive, and nobody really believed them. But after Jesus Jesus visited with them in person, they knew he was alive. One day, Jesus met with the disciples and talked with them again. That time, he told them to go to Jerusalem and wait for the promise of the Father. Of course, Jesus was talking about the promise his Father in heaven planned to give them. He explained, For John indeed baptized in water, but you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit soon. And while Jesus' friends were watching, Jesus rose up from the earth, and they watched until he was no longer there, and they could only see the clouds in the sky. Jesus had gone back to be with his Father in heaven. What do you think Jesus' friends did then when they, when they saw this? Do you all have any ideas? They turned around, and they started to Jerusalem. Do you think they would go and wait in Jerusalem until the promise of the Father appeared? You think? Or do you think they would just go to their own homes and just go? What, Joseph? They would go wait for the promise? Yes. I believe they would wait for that promise that Jesus told them about. And people would be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Let's say a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your promise. And thank you that Jesus' friends believed you and waited for your promise. Amen. Okay, some for little lambs.